everybody and welcome to the Bear Necessities. I'm Bear and today we're making buttermilk biscuits. This is one of my older recipes. I have had it forever and so I'd like to share it with you. These are flaky, soft, they have really nice layers and the, the flavor is just amazing. To get started you're, you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour. I have three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour and then one and one quarter cup all-purpose flour in here. You're going to need eight tablespoons or just a whole stick of cold butter. I kept this in the freezer for about 20 minutes just to really firm it up and then I cut it into small slices. We're going to cut that into the flour but we need it cold to make sure that we get all those flaky layers. I have extra flour uh, for dusting later because we're going to roll them out and cut them so we're going to need to dust them a little bit. And then in here I have, uh, I have a tablespoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then one teaspoon of salt. I use a little bit of extra leavening in mine just because it helps them get really nice and light and fluffy. And since I don't use lard in mine, it's gonna need as much help as possible. Lard helps them set softer. Don't know why, I'm not gonna question it, but it's delicious and slightly better for you, but you know. And then finally, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Now this is buttermilk I made because I don't actually have buttermilk right now. So what I did is I took three quarters of a cup of uh, milk, added one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, stirred it and let it sit for five minutes. Buttermilk, close enough. So let's get started. First we have our flour. Next we're gonna add our leavening. So again, this is one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. And let's make sure that's mixed really well in here. And now we're going to add our butter. So again, this is a full stick of butter, chilled. And you can use a food processor, a food processor for this, especially if you have some mobility issues or you have a difficulty with grip. Um, otherwise, you just use a fork, cut it in, makes it really easy. We are going to get all of our butter pieces covered in flour first, just to help them not stick together. And as you're going, if you just run your fork down the side of the bowl, you'll bring all the flour that hasn't yet had butter added to it down into the middle and give it a chance, get everybody a chance to get a little bit of the fat mixed in. And like I said, just a nice heavy sand, nothing too much. And if you look, it will come together just because of the amount of butter that's mixed in thoroughly. Now we're going to start adding our cold buttermilk and this does need to be cold. So if you can keep it in the fridge for a while, great. In the freezer for maybe five, 10 minutes. Don't let it go more than that because frozen buttermilk doesn't work so well. Um, but keeping it cold, keeping all of your ingredients cold. If you really have warm hands or a very warm home and you have space in your freezer for it, um, you can go ahead and freeze your flour as well. Get everything absolutely as cold as possible and that will give you the best chance of having super flaky biscuits. It's also a good, uh, good thing to do whenever you're making pie crust. So keep that in mind. We're gonna add about half of this buttermilk Okay, that is coming together nicely now. Still a little on the dry side, so I may just add a dash more, but I'm going to keep pulling it. And actually, nope, no more liquid is needed in this. It pulled together nicely, it's not sticking to the sides, and it's not crumbly. So you need to be able to come across and away from the bowl very cleanly. Of course, there'll be some, you know, butter smears, but you need it to be able to come in, uh, away from the, the sides of the bowl cleanly, not sticky. The dough itself should not be sticky because you've also then overworked it and you don't want to do that. But you also don't want it to be crumbly. Uh, you don't want it to be too dry because that will make them not work as well. You need the, the moisture in them just to rise because the steam that comes from them, as well as the uh, baking powder, baking soda, and the chemical reaction to the salt, also all your leavening together. 
We're going to keep the extra of the buttermilk that I made. I actually made around a cup on purpose because uh, we're going to use it to dust, uh, to uh, brush over the top of the biscuits. We dust our work area and make sure it is incredibly safe. And I have very clean hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and press my dough out a little bit. You don't want to overwork it, but I am going to go ahead and knead it just a little bit so that we don't have all those little joints obvious. I like mine because it makes the sides kind of puff just a little bit too, and so it gives you a better surface for jam. And what is a biscuit if not just a way to move sugary substances to your mouth? There's five. And finally, this last little one, I'm just going to roll up. I don't want to knead it anymore because that will just overwork it, but I am going to press it together as much as I can just to make sure that all those little seams are sealed. And this one came out to be a fair size still. This is about the size that you'd be able to make a dozen out of. So a two inch biscuit, about half an inch thick. We still have our buttermilk. At this point, you've still got a little bit of flour left on top. I should have put this in a bowl, but I did not. So I'll use our flour bowl. I'm going to dab this on with my fingers. You can use a brush if you want. I personally see no reason of making yet another dish dirty. And you're just going to take some of it and make sure it kind of lightly coats the top. You'll feel it almost make a little bit of an extra dough from that tiny bit of flour that's on the top. All right, and there we have it. So at this point in my 425 degree oven that you should have preheating by now, I'm going to pop these in and I'm gonna bake them for eight minutes, turn them around just to make sure that everything's uh, nice and even. And then I'm going to bake them in an additional six to seven minutes. They don't need to go much over 15. If they do, then you've made them too big. So reduce your heat at that point and let them just continue to go. Drop it down to maybe 325 and give them just another two or three minutes and then check them to make sure that they're not doughy anymore. But you don't want to burn them at that point. They will over dry and burnt biscuits, not so great. Just not tasty. So I'm going to pop these in my oven and I will be right back. Alrighty. So these baked for exactly 15 minutes. And as you see, they came out nice and golden. Nice set bottom, lovely top. And like I said, the buttermilk is going to let them brown ever so slightly, but they got nice, lovely flaky layers. Crack that open and you can see just the beautiful texture on the inside. A little bready, a little soft. Absolutely delicious. My whole house smells like butter right now, which is a very happy smell to me. So there's that. So those are biscuits. Easy, simple, fast, and delicious. I hope you enjoy making these as much as I always enjoy making them. So have fun with it. Enjoy these. Enjoy your time in the kitchen if you can, when you can. There's peace to be found in the simple pleasures. And humans really do enjoy some carbs. So there's that. Y'all have a great day. And until I see you again, bye.